In freaky furniture news. Oh no. Submitted by JK Familia. JK hey. Familia. Uh, a thrift store warns certain furniture may be haunted. I believe it. I'm not coming here. That's all thrift store furniture. That's how I feel. I don't shop at the thrift store because of that. Antique stores creep me out. So Mariel had this antique tea cart at her house. She just sold it recently. What? Tea cart. Thank fucking God, because that shit creeped me the fuck out. Did it look freaky like it came from a scary movie? It just looks old and battered. It has like character to it, right? But I always feel weird about something that's been owned for like a hundred years. Yeah. You don't know what would happen in the house. I don't necessarily even think it's haunted, but just if that person had like a really strong energy that owned it. Something about that like shit. Feel like something weird about yeah. it. It's like they just took a shit on it with their energy. Exactly. It's not like that it's a ghost and that it's like haunted. It's like walking around like That's how we hard. feel with houses. <laughs> Just looking at houses yeah. too, you feel it. Yeah. But you know what I want to do is, what if like, there's a really talented musician that played this piano, and then like every time you play it, they can possess you. That's what I want. That'd be so tight. No, 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 no. That's like I get to I get to be really good without the work. What if I could just go to Stevie Wonder's <laughs> piano, and I can go. Is it easy? He's still alive. He is. Yeah. Yeah. There's a rabbit in the sky. Who are you? No, but like, let's say he gave me his piano, and I can just play like him all of a sudden. That'd be so sick. Just practice really hard. You'll never get to his level. I'll never get there. That's the problem. No, but ever, you don't ever, get ever. Possessed. I do. It's like the Matrix, you know. Well, you're not it's sleeping in that. House. I want to go like this to the moon, mm -hmm. but the moon's over here. <laughs> That's all I do. Like, <laughs> like the Eiffel Tower picture? Yeah, yeah. Like if this is the sun, he's like yeah. this. <laughs> but this is all the sun. This thrift store. Okay. Just say Chicana, this thrift store. So they were posting on social media this warning. Warning, it's haunted. Yeah. <laughs> what? The Habitat for Humanity <laughs> Restore of Rowan I County. Know. They posted a queen canopy bed frame and a high boy chest of drawers. Hi boy. Yeah, so they're saying that the previous owners said that it was very haunted. What the right. fuck? Why didn't they destroy it? Yeah. it I know. Haunted. Well, because people don't, you know, believe in that stuff. So they're like, because they're they're all so cheap. But he believed. But they believed in it. So yeah. they were like, it's really haunted, but let's give it to someone else. <laughs> because they're cheap and they're like, the thrift store would take it for $5. I don't think they pay. Maybe it's one of yeah, those they, curses that you can only get rid of it if someone accepts it. Oh. So I thought thrift stores buy clothes I thought them. they did too, but every time I donate stuff, they don't pay me. Maybe you yeah. don't have They to give you a receipt right so you can do a tax write off. Yeah. Oh yeah, they do do that. Like the Salvation Army. Yeah. So these are the pieces. So they're, they're talking about... That should look freaky. in particular is what's haunted. That should look like Beauty and the Beast. The drawers open the drawers. on their own? No, so this is what the note says. That looks For high quality though. Two piece bedroom Wait, they're suite. still gonna charge a thousand dollars? Yeah. Well, it depends uh, if it's real wood. bed, high boy chest of drawers, hand carved in the 1950s. Please note previous owner reports that the high boy is haunted. He reports continuous nightmares for he and his wife while it was in their room. He also reports that the dogs would not stop barking at him. Whoa. Well, Edric would be down for it. Oh, for sure. Edric was He's like, like oh, I can't yeah. wait. I need a ghost. Let, let me buy that shit real quick. What if what if you advertise it like like warning, this this is haunted by a really hot ghost that climbs out and sucks your dick. Well, I'm good. buying that for $2,000. <laughs> uh, they didn't have to Gosh. add all that because people were obviously very interested in this. And what? there was a, a couple who bought it already. Yeah, there's like those weird people that- yeah, It was Ricky and his partner. Do they have nightmares? Um, well, the last, so when they were reporting this, they were interviewing them in the thrift store, like purchasing it. Oh. Uh, so we don't know yet. I wanna know if they have nightmares! Yeah. It's kinda like those people that go out of their way to be extra demony and weird and, and witchy. You know oh those God. guys? Uh, the girl, the go girl, graveyard girl, um, did you ever see Shane's, um, when she did, the, like Shane did a whole like oh, docu yeah. series on her, no. and she like loves going to this haunted store, and like it's like a store specifically that sells like haunted items, and she buys things from it, and so she has like a collection of haunted items, and she bought this one doll, and like ever since she got it, like the, like crazy stuff would happen to her. And she like, enjoys it. Like what? Like her, her her car flooded from this random like fluke like in the yeah. car, and then that was the first day that she had it, and then the second. Oh, but day, did she have a Honda Element though? 
Because if she did, it's pretty normal. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it was. I think it was just uh, like so an Audi or it's, something. It's just that one particular item? Yeah, that, that doll. Oh, I don't want nothing. But she loves like going to the haunted store place. I bet you there's a haunted that. store. I'm Are you talking about the Halloween store? Either. No. <laughs> but do you know about the museum oh, no. that, um, what's that guy with the tattoos on his face? Uh, no, he's a rapper. <laughs> Um, oh my god, really? Did you just say that? Them, you, you mean <laughs> all of them. Oh, damn it. 69 Takashi? What no. else about him? Uh, God damn it, he's really popular right now. Okay. Vil Yadi? Um, no, yes, Post Malone. Oh, okay. okay, you oh. know all that bad shit that happened to him? No. Like, he, like people, his friends started dying and like his like family members and stuff. Okay, well, he went to this haunted place in, um, like on the way to Las Vegas, there's this oh, museum yeah. that has like haunted things. You know in Black Mirror, they have like, oh, yeah. they have like a real, that. yeah, it's a real one like that. And it has like haunted What's a real items. One like that? Pretend like we don't watch Black Mirror. Okay, so there, it's like a museum with like haunted ass things like um either it's spiritually haunted or like it's just like weird like it was used in internment camps or like oh, wow. torture devices like sh shit like that that's all weird but there is a room that's specifically like a potent like these items are so messed up that like you're not allowed to touch them and he touched one and then all this bad shit started happening to him wow look it up google it Google it. Oh, Post Malone. Yeah, yeah Google that shit. It's crazy, cause it's like. But he also became a rapper too, so it kind of helped though. I don't even want to step foot in that place. You think that was like while he was on tour, or? It was a cursed haunted box. That helped him become yeah. popular. He was already, I think, popular. Oh. Died yeah. book box. And then all this crazy shit happened to him. Like cochlea, was it? Cause he's like, ooh, I Did can't I touch it. You know, and then it's like. Uh-oh. Sounds like something stupid I would do. It's Yiddish for malicious spirit. The box is believed to It's be a Jewish haunted. spirit. It's believed to be the most haunted object in the world. And it's in near Las Vegas Ooh. desert. Yeah. Covered with a protective casing. You have to be 18 and over and sign a waiver just to see it. But since he's a celebrity, they let him see it without pr the protective casing. What? Oh, and there's video of him touching it. Yeah, what does that mean? And what's the stuff that happened though? Like did like who, who died? Like what happened? The it curse was... might, might have been diluted by time. Did an evil Jewish man start fucking pop locking and shit? <laughs> I am going to do your taxes. Yeah, this man who comes up. Yeah. Oh, they don't tell me the bad stuff that's happened to him. Oh, them. yeah. It, I don't know the specifics, but I just know like some crazy shit stuff. Because sometimes people... Oh, can... it says he boarded a private plane to London have, and only to have the tires blown off immediately after takeoff. The pilot managed to land the plane safely. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that's fucked up, Curse, because the pilot didn't do nothing. Armed exactly. robbers broke into a house where Malone used to live and demanded to see him. Fortunately, he wasn't there. But that's rapper, cur that's rapper karma, though. Yeah, that's rapper karma. Go touch the box, then, see what happens. I'm not going to touch no box. <laughs> if his eyebrow fell off, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> that box eyebrow? is crazy, yeah. yeah. So far, certain things there, like, for example, like, a rapper, try somebody trying to rob a rich rapper, it's very common. Very, very common. You know, so it's like, yeah, mm. I don't know about that. But if he was walking around and six of his teeth fell out, and when they fell out, they spelled, why'd you touch it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's only six teeth? That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's so it just broke into other little teeth and goes, why'd you touch it? And then they and they run away. And then run away. <laughs> or if he took a shit on the plane, and then the plane toilet sucked his intestines out of his asshole into the thing. Like some final <laughs> destination <laughs> stuff. That's some crazy shit, yeah. But you know what would be so funny? What if like he went into the plane bathroom and he went to wash his face, and when he looked up, there was a ghost there, but he's uglier than the ghost of the ghost runs away. <laughs> 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 the ghost goes, oh shit! <laughs> it just fucking goes out and gets the fuck out of there. He's like, I quit. Yeah, it's like, we're all crying <laughs> around the- The ghost crosses <laughs> over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done, I'm going to heaven, you fucking fly. Their big it. brother ghost comes over like, why'd you do that, man? What the fuck? I know, why'd you scare him with your face? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I'm just clowning on Post Malone. You know, I used to be a big hater of Post Malone, and then I started listening to some more of his music, and I was like, oh, he's actually a pretty dope musician. He is, he's yeah, very he's musical. Really, really dope. He just, I just didn't, well, wasn't into that emo rap at the time. I didn't even know. Like, I think it's acquired taste. It took me a while. It took me a while to kind of, kind of like, Hear him out and have my ears be a cut. I thought he was like full on black yeah, when I first he's not, heard his he's stuff. A white boy. He's Jewish. He oh, didn't touch God. the box directly, by the way. His friend touched it and then he, he <laughs> touched it. They would touch his friend. friend. Uh, so yeah. it's like static shock. Did the friend huh? die? Yeah, what happened to the friend? Broke nine of his fingers. Well, yeah. he's only got a couple of days left, probably. Yeah. Seven days. days. <gasps> Remember that? <gasps> that would be so scary. I never watched it. I gotta watch it. 
Dude, I can't. I remember my friends would call me and do that shit. You wouldn't want. You won't watch it with me, Uncle. I've already seen it. But what if I'd ever seen it? Would then you? watch it. The <laughs> creepy, the creepy part is the girl though. That Fuck kind of yeah! Turning yeah. on and then like yeah. The That's grudge the got my ass though. Oh, the closet. Oh god. And then the fucking inside the hair. Yeah, when they're taking a shower. That shit what? got my. You have any idea? Fucking take a shower with your eyes open and shit. Yeah, yeah I still do that to this day. I see from that movie. No, from Freddy Krueger. Oh. Yeah, like if there's like if there's so like if I'm putting shampoo, I make sure that it never falls down because I'm like. <laughs> and then I wet my hair this way so the water hits here and it always goes down. I'm like, I stopped I allowing see. TVs in my room after the ring. Like, no oh. more TVs are allowed in the room. Do you remember that scene in Freddy Krueger where the girl is riding him and her titties are gone? Like, oh no. Well, do you remember? There's, there was. I thought you were gonna say the bathtub one where he like comes into the shower. Into oh, the that, that I scene? actually have never seen Freddy Krueger. There's a. Watch it. No, no. There's one yes. where there's there's titties. We, we were able to rent that at the library back in the day. What? So when, when we saw it, we're like, oh my god! And then we had to pause that shit and rewind and just leave it there. And then it was like a bunch of kids just Wait, why did there. you ask me? Like, we're gonna bond off of that moment. Because <laughs> you said Freddy Cougar, and I didn't know anyone else that watched it. But I wouldn't remember that scene because I didn't get off on it. <laughs> there used to be a site that had every um, timestamp of every movie that had titties in it that like some kid put that. together. Yeah. yeah, but basically, during that scene, we, we paused it, and all the kids were just fucking running around in circles like, oh my god, that's a fucking titty! That's a titty! <laughs> yeah. I remember that moment when I saw a species. That's a titty. Oh, I don't watch those. <laughs> that's is a it a human titty? Oh, Maybe yes. that's the name of the website. That's a titty? I don't know, she was a very beautiful actress, but she was uh, an alien, right? And then she took the form of a hot girl, but she would just be murdering these dudes like- Oh, I think oh, it's a, yeah. uh, fuck, who's the tiger blood? What's his name? Charlie Sheen's oh, yeah. ex-wife. Oh, didn't Denise uh, Richards? Richards. Oh, maybe. She was hot as fuck, yeah. though. I just remember they were so beautiful. Oh, maybe not her. Oh, she was hot, though.